You're listening to the Webinar Hustlers Entrepreneur Podcast, episode 39. Want to work less and sell more? Welcome to the Webinar Hustlers Entrepreneur Podcast, the podcast to help you scale up and take your business to the next level with webinars that sell for you. Each episode focuses on the money mindset, online marketing, and sales strategies to get you more leads and convert leads to sales, all with webinars. And now your host, business and webinar strategist, April Reed. Here are six amazing strategies to come up with content ideas or your webinar topic that you can try right now. Now, this is a question I get asked a lot or I've seen getting asked in Facebook groups. It's how do I come up with content? Everybody has issues with coming up with good content that they feel resonates with their audience, or how do I come up with my webinar topic? Well, I'm gonna share with you six strategies that you can try, and they're super, super easy, and except for one strategy, they're not gonna take long at all. Okay, so the first strategy is going to www.answerthepublic.com. Now, when you go to this website, I love it actually because... When you go to the website, you're greeted by a bald guy in a turtleneck sweater, (laughs) wool sweater. Okay, so at least at the time of this recording, who knows what it will be in six months or so. But anyway, when you go there, you're going to be asked to enter your keyword. So I'm just going to enter webinar. And once you enter your keyword, because your keyword may not be webinar, the website is going to generate and scour the web and look for the most asked questions. And I love it because what it does is it looks for how to, when, who, which, what, where, why. It's going to scour the internet and grab those questions that are asked the most. How to run a webinar. How long should a webinar be? How to participate in a webinar. How to conduct a webinar. And so just try it for yourself. Go to answerthepublic.com. Okay, the second way that you can do this is copy mining. Now, if you go to copyhackers.com, they have an article on Amazon copy mining. And I'm gonna link that article to the show notes. But basically, all you do is you go to Amazon, you search your industry, you search your product, or you search something similar something that your ideal client would be looking for in your industry. So let's say you're a health coach. So you might search exercise. You might search meal planning. You might search Pilates. You might search Adidas. (laughs) Anything you feel like your audience would be searching on Amazon, you're going to put that in the search bar. And when you look it up, you're going to go straight to the reviews and you're going to read the reviews. Pay particularly attention to three stars, because that's where the sweet spot is. And you're just going to read what they loved about that product and what they felt was missing and see how you can create your content or your webinar topic around what they collectively agree is a major pain point. Strategy number three is good old Facebook or basically any social media platform where people are talking. But let's just stick with Facebook because I really like Facebook. So when you go to Facebook, What you're going to do is in the search bar, you're going to type in your term, your industry term. So for me, it will be webinars. And from there, you can look up post people that are talking about webinars or asking questions about webinars, videos, pages, even groups that you might want to join. And what you're looking for is you're trying to see what are people asking the most? How can I serve and how can I help? And the questions that are get asked the most, this is probably what you want to make a blog post out of or your webinar topic. Okay, strategy number four. You've heard me say this before. You must have. And it's active market research where you're going to look for your ideal client or potential ideal client, get them on the phone and ask them questions about what it is that they need so that you can serve them. Now, here are at least three questions that you can ask. Number one, Why haven't you tried this solution before? Or why haven't you done webinars before? And if not, why? You want to get their objection. So maybe they're scared to be on camera. And if they're scared to be on camera, then maybe you can create content or do a webinar on 
how to be comfortable on camera. Now, this webinar topic, again, we're not just doing a webinar topic just because somebody said that they have a particular pain point with being on camera. It's collectively, what are you hearing the most? But being afraid on camera is an objection. So that is definitely something you want to do content around, but it may not necessarily be something you want to do your webinar around because for your webinar, we do want to get that main agonizing, keep me up at night pain point that is collectively an issue for the group. Okay. So second question is what is your biggest challenge? And then the third question is, and this is important too, would you be willing to pay for a solution that did X, Y, and Z? Now X, Y, and Z is where you're basically paraphrasing and even actually making sure you use their words. So maybe not too much paraphrasing, but you're basically saying what they've said. You're going to say, would you pay for a solution that helped you overcome and then whatever their objection is or whatever their pain point is. And what you're looking for, you're not looking for a, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I would do that. Or you're not looking for a, yes. You're looking for a, Heck yeah. Yes, of course I would. Oh, definitely. That would just solve everything. Like you're looking for that strong, oh yeah, baby, because those are going to be your potential clients. You're going to want to follow up with these people once you have the perfect solution for them. Okay. Step number five is Google AdWords keyword planner. Okay. So Google AdWords has this keyword planner and it is amazing, but you have to have a Google AdWords account. You don't have to run ads to use the keyword planner, but you do have to have a Google AdWords account. So once you have your Google AdWords account, I want you to go to Google and search Google keyword planner or keyword planner, Google or Google AdWords keyword planners, something like that. And then click on, well, the keyword planner. Now what this does, and this is pretty cool. Let me go to it. Okay. So you're going to search in your keyword ideas. So in this example, I typed in how to make money with webinars. And what it does again is scouring the world wide web, the internet. And okay. For people who say there's a difference between the word world wide web and the internet, I'm sorry. I use that interchangeably. I really don't know what the difference is. Okay. Anyway, but I do know they're not exactly the same thing. As I've heard. But anyway, okay. So what it's going to do is it going to pop up all these keywords that people are searching online and then give you the average monthly searches. So let's just look here. Okay. So a hundred thousand to a million people on average search go to meeting. So that might be an article or a blog post that I write about go to meeting. That surprises me. But anyway, well, actually, <laughs> probably for my audience, I would not do go to meeting, but whatever. Okay. So what else do we have here? Now, 10,000 to 100K are looking up how to make money blogging. How did that get in there? I typed in webinars. Oh, probably because I did how to make money. Okay. But basically you're going to look in here and it's going to rank it from, you know, low, only a hundred to a thousand people are searching this, these keywords to a hundred K to a million. Maybe it gets higher than that. And you're just going to scroll and look for what keywords are being searched the most. And that's what your title could be. And that's definitely what your content's going to be around. And maybe I would search a little better, like how to host a webinar or something leaving out money because I'm kind of getting, as I'm searching this kind of random, you know, how to make money with blogging and other things and affiliate marketing and such. So make sure like your keywords are pretty targeted so you don't get all the other things that just don't fit well. Okay. Last but not least is YouTube. Now, maybe you've seen my YouTube video before. I've posted it in my Facebook group and I've posted it on my Facebook page. It was a pretty long video. I'm thinking about redoing that video and making it a lot shorter. And I will definitely be posting in the show notes, but you just go to YouTube. Once you're at YouTube, again, searching for your industry, searching for your topic. So for me, it will be webinars and I might do how to host a webinar, how to start a webinar, how to create a webinar. 
And once you do that, you're going to get a list of people that are making videos around webinars. And from there, what you're looking for is somebody who webinar is their thing or whatever your industry is. So if you're looking up grooming cats, and so you search the term grooming cats, you're going to look up industry leaders that are also talking about grooming cats. You wouldn't want to pick someone who basically they're dog lovers and they just have one video talking about grooming cats. No, because you want these people that you choose, one or two or three, that grooming cats is their thing. Because once you click on their name, you're going to sort all their videos in order to see what are their most popular grooming cat video content. And from there, this kind of just gives you ideas in that industry, in the cat grooming industry, What are people resonating with? What are people loving? What videos are going viral? And then from there, you want to do something similar. You don't want to copy, but this is just to give you an idea of what's popular. Okay, so those are amazing content and research ways that you can start doing right now to come up with content for your Facebook posts, your social media posts, your blog posts, an article, and definitely, definitely your webinar topic. I hope this has been quite helpful. Come to the show notes. I'm going to have links for you to make this a lot simpler so that if you're a reader, you can read and get more support. Or if you love video, there may be some videos in the show notes as well. And just come to www.aprilread.com forward slash 39. And if this is the first time you're being on this show, it's www.aprille r-e-e-d dot com forward slash 39. Okay, love you guys. See you next week. Bye. Hey you, have you been liking this podcast and all the webinar strategies that you're receiving? Well, I want to tell you about my new membership site. Maybe you're just a coach, consultant, or other service-based business owners like a VA or a graphic designer, and you really want to add webinars into your marketing mix so that you can sell your high-ticket coaching program or your high-ticket offers. The top three things that I hear from coaches, consultants, and service-based business owners is that they don't know what to teach on the webinar, so they're struggling with learning what their topic is going to be. They are technophobes so they're scared about all the tech and webinars seem complicated. Well, I'm happy and proud to say that the new membership site is going to address all three of those issues and a whole lot more. So if you're looking for the support and the accountability that you need to finally get your webinar in front of the eyes of hundreds and even thousands at an affordable price, then go to www.aprilread.com forward slash waitlist. Enrollment is open only two times per year. So what are you waiting for? And I can't wait to see you there. Thanks for listening to the Webinar Hustlers Entrepreneur Podcast at www.aprilread.com.